Hey guys, it's Water iPods here, back with a full in-depth review of a game called Aqua Moto Racing Lite. Now this is a jet skiing application, uh, jet skiing racing application, I should say. And this is the light version, as it says in the title. And basically what we got right here is just explaining what's not included in the light version that is included in the full version. Now the full version is $2.99 right now in the App Store. And I think it is definitely worth it after seeing my review. I hope you guys agree with me. Uh, first of all, in the full version, you get three different environments set in real-life locations. you got Emerald Bay here, the Everglades, and the Long Beach Port. So as you can see there, we're just going to tap to kind of show you guys what's next. Uh, with those levels, you get 18 unique tracks in both regular and reverse mode. So those are all the tracks there. You've also got a stunt mode where basically while you're racing through each level there'll be jumps that will come up and while you're in the air you kind of got to flick it up like this and you'll get more air. You can tap one of these little icons here to do certain tricks and you'll gain boost. And I'll show you what the boost does. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what it does uh, throughout the level. There's also tuning where you can tune your vehicle to best suit your driving skills. So after you beat, I think it is a, a championship, you'll get a tuning point and you can upgrade your uh, top speed acceleration steering and your boost. So let's keep on going here. And then we're finally get to the ability, you also get the ability to choose your own rider and your vehicle color. There's seven championships, which including a massive Grand Prix, and there's also Ghost Play where you can download and race against the world's best players. So let's go to Play Light. So first of all you can see here it says Welcome Order iPods. And that is like the profile I have set up. So um, first I'm going to show you guys the settings first. I mean the options. So we've got our master volume. Turn that down. Just a tad. We've got our master volume, our sound effects volume, we've got our music volume. And our input sensitivity, which is basically since this is an accelerometer based game, it's just going to be your steering like this. Uh, what this game does really well, I think, is the steering. Because you don't have to worry about... Um, steering, you don't have to worry about accelerating by tilting forward. All you have to worry about is steering left and right. So let's go back by just clicking off of it again. And let's go into how to play at the top. You can see here it says steer your watercraft by tilting your dev the device. Acceleration is automatic so you can focus on steering. And then steer your watercraft past buoys placed around the stages. Paths on the right of the orange, they kind of look red to me. And the orange buoys and past the left the yellow buoys. So I'll show you guys what that's all like in the, when we get to the actual game. There's two things in the game. There's a boost and there's also brakes. If you touch this side of the screen it is boost and if you touch this side of the screen it's your brakes. So let's skip the next one. There's also a little invisible button down here where if you press down towards the middle it's like right around here. If you press that, it will go into a rear view view. So rear view view. Uh, so it is a rear view. Yes. Of um, you can see basically behind you and see how far the opponents are to you and everything. So you can see if they're coming up on you. This explains the tuning, and this is the time trial here. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, so we've got our profile right here. So you can have up to five profiles. You're welcome. You have a guest one which comes on it. You can set up your own profile. And basically I'll show you what that's like. You go down here to create a new account. You're going to enter in your profile name, your email address, your password, and then you can confirm it. Then you're going to hit next and you're going to enter in things like your birth date, your set, like your sex, and then your, what is the last one? Oh, your country. So now let's go into records. Basically everyone knows what records are. Just, these are for the time trial mode, where you set a certain time, and then people try to match your score. As you can see there, I'm number 8. Woohoo! Go me! But there's only like 40 people who like have this application, so it's not that big of an accomplishment. So let's go into the time trial. Now, you, as you can see here, uh, there is 3 here, and there's also reversed ones. So you get a total of 6 tracks. Now, you only get to play these in time trial after you beat them in the championship. So let's go into the championship right now. So let's click the championship. Nope. The championship. There we go. So starting a new championship, you've got all your opponents here. And then you've got these points. And since we haven't played a race yet, we actually have no points, obviously. So now we're going to go to continue. 
and here's where we get them tune your vehicle. Uh, I, normally I have it set on 1 for acceleration. So you can see there, that's where how many points you have remaining. And this is like the type of track that you're going to be racing on, the style of the track. So you can kind of tune it to, you look at that and you kind of tune your vehicle around to what kind of the, what kind of race it's going to be and what kind of track style it is. So let's get this started here. So one thing I want to point out guys is this has absolutely amazing graphics. I love the graphics in this game. They are easily comparable to PlayStation uh, PSP. God, I can't talk today. Um, so right there at the top, if you hit the little home button, you got your resume, restart, options, and main menu. I'm just going to go into resume, and it's going to start automatically. I just want you guys to take a note of what the graphics look like. So here we go, we're starting. As you can see, we don't have to tilt forward. All we got to do is tilt to the left. And I can't really get this on camera for you guys. And then you see we've got our boost and our brake. I'm going to try to get this on camera. If you guys can see the background, the quality is amazing. It looks like a photograph, I swear. The, they re it reflects off the water and the controls. I can't, you can't really see the controls from how I'm playing now, but the controls are very, very slick, guys. They are amazing. The, they just feel so perfect. Like, I don't know what else they could have done to better it, because I think they're absolutely flawless. I love the fact that you don't have to worry about accelerating because that would just be a hassle and I, I would I much rather prefer it like this. So as you see here we've got our boost meter down on the bottom and it slowly fills up as we go through the thing. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys what that's like right when I get to it straight away. So just simply tap here. You can see there we get a good boost going on. Now if you miss these buoys and go on the wrong side of them it is going to penalize you for it. And if you miss, see there, it says miss one left. So now if we were to miss one more buoy, we'd actually be disqualified from this race. I know this is probably making you guys nauseous, so I'm just going to get disqualified here. So there we are, disqualified, and we've got restart race and main menu. So let's go to the main menu, and I'll show you guys what the time trial is kind of like. I think you guys are going to kind of understand what the time trial is like, but I'll show you guys anyways. So let's go into my favorite one, which is Soft Arrow. So when you start the time trial, you've got your personal best there, and you've got your target time. So you've got your target times of 149, 157 for so 149 for gold, 157 for silver, and 205 for bronze. So again, you get to modify um, your vehicle here. Again, I like it as it, my acceleration. Now to get this gold. I think it's pretty impossible to do it with just the one tuning point. And I've played through the championship, and it says finish at least third in the championship to earn an extra tuning point. And I think that's only in the full version. So, because I think it is impossible to get this gold without with just that stock one. I've probably played this level probably like ten times. So, uh, and I've only gotten silver. So, as you can see here, basically the same thing. You're just racing against the clock, not racing against anyone else. Let's show you guys the rear view. view. So, you see there, there's the rear view. Look at the graphics, guys. They are really, really good. Oh, and you see I fell off. If you do crash hard, head on to something, you will fall off, and then you got to wait for him to get back on. So, I'm kind of going all, all over the place. Let's go a little roaming going on. So, you guys can see what I mean by the graphics. They're outstanding. Oh, now we're out of bounds. I've never done this, so I don't know what it's going to do. But, anyways, guys, definitely check this game out. I love this game. I cannot stress that enough. Um, it's This is the light version, so it's free. The full version is only $2.99. Um, the developer is Resolution something. I'll post a link to their YouTube, because I know they have a YouTube account, so I'll post a link to them in my descriptions. And also, there's going to be like a full in-depth breakdown of like the graphics, the controls and everything. But I definitely give this game a 10 out of 10 guys. Definitely check it out. It is definitely worth the 2.99 for the full version. So this is what our iPods signing out. Peace guys. 6 full.